Hi, it's Ben from Biteable, and I'm here to show you how to set up Biteable's super handy branding feature. Why is it useful? When you add scenes or templates that are tagged auto-branded on the thumbnail, they will be automatically colored with your brand colors, and your logo will be added to any logo container, and the text will be changed to your brand font. And even after your colors are added to your scenes, you'll be able to try different color combinations with the click of a button. Pretty neat, huh? To begin, go to your home page in Biteable and click the Brands icon on the left of your screen, then hit Add Brand. If you have a website, you'll be able to automatically fetch your branding from there, but if you don't, just click Use Default Palette. You'll be able to edit everything in the next stage. Then give your palette a name. Then you can either keep the colors that were fetched from your website or delete the colors and start from scratch. You'll need a light text and a dark text color. Mostly this is just going to be white and black as it is applied to body copy and subheaders. The hex codes for these are hash FFFFFF for pure white and hash 000000 for pure black. Hopefully your graphic designer will have provided you with the hex codes for the rest of your brand colors, but if they didn't, don't worry as Biteable will automatically extract them from your logo when you upload it. Upload your logo now, and once you've uploaded it, I'd recommend hitting the edit button and giving it a background shape and color so it looks neat when it's placed in a scene, and possibly resizing it if it needs it. This should have given you the brand colors you had in your logo, but if they're not quite right, you can just delete them and start from scratch. Alternatively, you can extract them from your logo or any piece of digital design using imagecolorpicker.com. Just upload your image, then use the selection tool to click on the color and then copy the hex code from there. Once you're done, you can set up the color combos you'll see in your scenes. This is usually a background color and then two foreground colors. This will only affect backgrounds, graphics, titles and headers, but not subheaders or body copy. Do as many combos as you can, as you'll most likely want to have plenty of options so your videos don't get boring. The final step is to add your font. Biteable uses Google Fonts, so your brand font might not be available, but you can always choose a lookalike font at fonts.google.com and add that one instead. Now you're done. Hit Save Brand and make sure the star is selected to make this your active brand. You can have multiple brands set up and switch between them anytime you like, even when you're halfway through editing a video by using the video settings button. In the next video, I'll talk you through things to do and things to not do when building layouts.